The Oculus Quest is an upcoming standalone headset releasing before the summer. We think this is going to be the headset that will really push the VR industry forward in 2019. The main reason for this is that you don't need an expensive PC with the Quest to play Oculus Rift games and experiences. Of course, not all Oculus Rift games can be played on a standalone headset like the Quest, since these games need to be optimized to make it playable on the Quest hardware. The games that are coming up for the Quest are still exciting though. And since the Quest launch date is around the corner, we wanted to share our excitement by making a video on the upcoming games. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet to see more videos like this one. And here are 20 of our favorite Oculus Quest games that we are looking forward to. Now let's get started. First of all, as the Oculus Quest is not out yet, the gameplay footages in this video might include gameplay from different headsets. The actual gameplay from the Oculus Quest might look or feel different. Number 1. Tennis Scramble Tennis Scramble is a multiplayer VR game where you play tennis. But it is not traditional tennis since you can hit the ball at a question mark and get your racket transformed into all sort of random items. I've used a basketball bat and even a golf club while trying this game out at Oculus Connect 5. This game is comparable with the Nintendo Wii Sport with its cartoonish art style except now with the quest and its 6 degrees of freedom tracking. You'll be able to run around like you would in a tennis court and you'll use the controller to swing a backhand or a forehand. It will be much more realistic if you have the space of course. I, for one, am looking forward to trying this out in a park or something since the quests will make this possible. Number 2. Face Your Fears 2 Face Your Fears 2 is a sequel to a horror VR experience where you are tested against various scary scenarios. In Face Your Fears you'll be walking a pretty linear path using a thumbstick in different environments where scary things happen. Think you are ready to test out what phobias you might have? Then going in a scary VR game like this might just be what you want to check out. Be aware though that you might throw away your controller out of fear, so wear those wrist straps. Number 3. Beat Saber Do I even need to explain Beat Saber? The epic rhythm VR game where you hold two lightsabers and cut boxes like a Jedi in a club. May the rhythm be with you when quests come out because we think that this game is going to be the biggest seller for the headset and we cannot wait to play Beat Saber ourselves everywhere we go. Number 4. Spice and Wolf VR Spice and Wolf VR is an animation in production. It is based on the manga and anime series Spice and Wolf. There isn't much info on the project so far, but the creators say it will be like Project Lux, which is a popular VR visual novel made by the same developers. Hopefully this means that Spice and Wolf VR will be the same, a visual novel with multiple endings. As a fan of anime, I love VR visual novels like these, because I actually feel like I am in the novel. Unlike watching from a TV screen, in VR you can lock eyes with a character and interact with them, creating a bond with them. VR surpasses TV animations in making characters truly come to life. Number 5. Shadow Legends VR Shadow Legend is an exploring RPG game with a story. It has multiple levels for you to explore, each consisting with a lot of world interactions, puzzles and enemies from a dark fantasy world. Using your exploration skills, you have to find items to upgrade your character or to buy new weapons including swords, bows, axes and magical spells. Number 6. Robo Recall Robo Recall is an action-packed first-person shooter by the same developers as Fortnite. Explore realistic environments as an agent tasked with recalling rogue robots while unlocking an expanding arsenal of weapons. The interactions levels of this game are high, you can tear apart robots and use their parts as a weapon. You'll be able to catch bullets like in the Matrix and you can use combat tactics and skill shots for the highest score, making you feel like a total badass. Number 7. Moss Moss is one of the best VR platformers at the moment. You play as a big friend of a little adventurous mouse called Quill. With your VR motion controllers, you will influence the environment, helping Quill to solve puzzles or to clear a path for her to go. All this while you use traditional controls like the thumbstick to move Quill around and the A plus B buttons to make her jump or attack. It is a platformer game that makes you feel like you are the part of the story. This is one of our favorite games out there and we can't wait to check out on the quest 2. Number 8. Sarento. Sarento VR is a high-paced, action-packed ninja simulator game. As a ninja, you engage in missions where you will most likely be doing some killing. The game has single-player missions and a campaign mode. You can also go head-to-head -head against others in multiplayer 4vs4 PvP and PvE modes. 
But what makes this game different is that you'll feel like a total badass as you can perform triple jumps, wall runs, power slides, backflips. <laughs> there are stunts for everyone. While you're watching this video, please leave a like to show your support if you found this video helpful. Number 9. The Climb If you ever want to climb a mountain but don't want to risk any dangers, then this game is just for you. In the climb you can feel the exhilaration of extreme free solo climbing. This game is beautiful with immersive locations by day or night. It is a game to explore and to enjoy the view of a virtual world. Number 10. Shadow Point Shadow Point is a story-driven puzzle game where you explore a kingdom. It has low poly graphics that looks cute and charming. The game is completely narrated by Sir Patrick Stewart, which is awesome of course. Right now there isn't much information available, but it's looking like a promising puzzle VR game. Number 11. Star Wars Vader Immortal Star Wars Vader Immortal is an immersive VR experience that's very story-driven with some interactions, all set in the Star Wars universe. It was announced at OC5 as one of the launch games with Oculus Quest. And we are truly looking forward to a face-to-face -face with Darth Vader. Or maybe we should be scared? For the Star Wars fans under us, the adventure takes place between Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. And is set up by the events of Star Wars Secret of the Empire. Number 12. Super Hot VR. Super Hot VR was also announced as one of the launch titles of the Quest. If you don't know Super Hot VR yet, it is a very unique game where you play as an agent with slow motion time superpowers. As you move, time moves with you. If you stop moving, time stands still. Using this advantage, you can time your attacks or dodges to complete each level. Play fast or slow, it's up to you. This game does not need you to walk in the game at all, making it one of the most comfortable VR games to play, that will still make you sweat like a beast. Number 13. Rave Runner Rave Runner is another VR rhythm game, except its goal is to make you move as much as possible through the use of immersive and therapeutic audiovisual stimulations. Unlike Beat Saber, where you mostly use your arms, this game tries to make you dance more smoothly. Number 14. Dead Horizon Dead Horizon is a zombie first-person shooter game set in a realistic dark research station where a virus broke out, turning everyone in there into a zombie. Your task is to clean the station before it breaks out. There are 10 different weapon types, 2 game modes, campaign and arcade. There is even a co-op multiplayer mode. This this looks like a very awesome game on the quest. Number 15. Groundhog Day Like Father Like Son Groundhog Day Like Father Like Son is a story-driven VR game based on the movie Groundhog Day. Except now you play as the son of the protagonist, but on the same day, over and over again. The goal of the developers of this game is to make the player an active, disruptive element in the story, giving them more narrative choices to have a key influence on the storyline. This and the interactive elements will make you create a deeper emotional connection to the characters in the game. Number 16. Loco Dojo Loco Dojo is a multiplayer VR party game where you play against up to 3 friends or strangers in a series of minigames. Most of them allow you to stand still in a spot, making it possible to play this game in a smaller room. Loco Dojo's gameplay is comparable with Mario Party, except it has a whimsical wooden art style. The game has 16 minigames right now, both single and multiplayer modes, achievements and cross-platform capability. We'll have to wait and see whether all features will be the same on the quest. Number 17. Tokyo Chronos VR Tokyo Chronos is a VR mystery visual novel game, where you have to find out who killed who. In this visual novel, the suspense and drama are told via a mix of visual animations and a new comic book style user interface. VR allows you to look around, listen to the surroundings and discover new things while doing it. The project team is led by the producer of Sword Art Online, an anime we are a big fan of. Number 18. Journey of the Gods Journey of the Gods is an action-adventure RPG by the same developers as Left 4 Dead. The Oculus Vice President of Product Nate Mitchell mentioned that this game reminded him of Nintendo's The Legend of Zelda series. There is magic, swordplay, fantasy environments, lava-filled dungeons. Having played one of their earlier RPG titles called The Well on the Oculus Go makes me very excited for this one. 
Number 19, Dead and Buried 2. Dead and Buried 2 is a multiplayer first person shooter with beautiful graphics. The first game had multiple maps where you could battle it out with others. It also had multiple game modes including 2 vs 2, everyone against each other and co-op. In every map there were fixed spots where you could teleport to. In the trailer it looks like you can walk freely now. There are also more game modes and Death and Bird 2 will also have a new social hub. A cool thing? They are adding cross-platform play between the quest and the recently announced Rift S allowing for a bigger player base. Number 20, the cooking game VR. In the cooking game VR, you run a fast food restaurant as the cook. When your customers come in, they'll let you know what they want and you'll have to cook it as fast as possible and as good as possible to satisfy them. I love silly games like this, so I am looking forward to it. Well, that's it for this video. If you are getting the quest, is there a game in this list that you are looking forward to as well? Let us know in the comments below. And a special thanks to Art Armin, our right hand patron, and a special shout out to his patron page. And thank you all for watching this video and supporting us by doing that. And uh, I'll be leaving now, so we are on. <laughs> Cassandra! In one shot, bang. Okay, just kidding. And make sure you subscribe. One more time, just in case.